Hey folks, what's up? Mike Benton here from the Mike Benton team. It is Friday and you know what you get on Friday. You get great content, great information about the real estate business. Let's get started. Here we go. So today I'm going to talk about seven tips to prepare your home, which starts September 23rd for fall. The first day of fall is September 23rd. Here we go. Number one, clean the gutters. If you can't do it because of heights, can't do it because you don't have a ladder, hire somebody. It's relatively inexpensive, a couple hundred bucks, depending on the, on the height and depending on how big your home is, you get that thing clean. You need to do it because if it's filled up with debris, you get snow, you get sleet, it builds up in ice. As the, the gutter fills up with ice, when it starts to melt, the water can come back up underneath their shingles, and calls, in, which is called ice damming, and would it could cause major issues with your underlayment, your plywood, can get into your roof system so please get the gutters clean number two check for drafts go down around your house if you have an older house especially take a piece of paper put it underneath the windows close the windows if you pull the paper out you might need to double check some stuff check your doors over time the seal breaks gets damaged if you have a dog maybe the dog ate it but the point is you want to stop the drafts because drafts will keep your system running longer your your heating system running longer which is going to cost you more money and put more wear and tear on your system so check for drafts number two three drain all outdoor faucets you do not want those things to freeze because if they freeze they're going to freeze at the worst possible time and then when they break if they do break you're going to have major damage to your house so drain the faucets number four Check your filters. Better yet, replace your filters. Get in the habit of check, checking them, but really replace them on every season. Why? Because one of the items that we see most of in a house is that when the outdoor unit freezes up or there's issues, it's a dirty filter. Change the filter. When you change the filter, write the date that you did it on so you know. Put it on your calendar every season or quarter, change your filter. While you're there, if you think, if you look and you notice you haven't serviced your unit in a while, call your company, all right? If you need a reference to an HVAC company, give us a call, but you wanna get it serviced now, oil, HVAC, whatever it may be. Next is fill up the fuel. Now, it's never gonna be cheaper than today because as we go into winter, as you know, oil prices go up, propane goes up, electric goes up. Uh, there's not much you can do with the electric, but you could definitely take care of the fuel. So if, if it doesn't, it hasn't been topped off. Now, for us, we use a company called SJ Johnson, and they fill up our field. They put an a, um, a alarm on our system that they can log in. We can log in on our phone. They can see from the work, and they let it, they don't let it get too low. Because remember, fuel will never be cheaper than what it is right now. As we go into winter, everything's going to go up, so check your fuel. Um, walk the yard. Number six is walk the yard. Look around. Look up. See if there's any what we call widow makers. Double check. You want to make sure these things are taken care of because when snow comes, ice comes, it's more weight. It's going to push down on the limbs and they're going to fall. If they fall, it could hit your car, could hit your roof, could hit a window, could hit, hit, hit somebody. Check for broken or dead limbs now because you don't want to do it once the snow hits. The final one is if you have a backup generator, what I want you to do is check it out. Start it up. Because if it's a backup generator and you haven't lost your lecture, that means that sucker hasn't ran unless you have it set up on a, a, a timer to um, turn on, turn off, you know, test it throughout the year. So double check the generator because you do not need the generator not to work on the day that you need it. So these are seven tips. There's many more, but truly these are the top seven tips for us. If you have any questions, give us a call, shoot us a text. We'd love to work with you. Uh, get you some information about these these items. But um, if you do call us, you will experience the benefit. So thank you so much. God bless you. And you have a great weekend.